This is RTV6 News at 11, working for you. Just a few weeks of summer left for most Central Indiana students. Instead of the usual items, hand sanitizer and face masks are at the top of the list of the school supplies. Districts are keeping a close eye on the continued spread of COVID-19, but tonight most are moving ahead with plans for in-person classes. Part of those plans include deep cleaning before and after students return. And tonight, RTV6's Cameron Riddle takes us to a school district in Shelby County for a look at one example of a pandemic cleaning plan. As schools across Indiana prepare to reopen for the first day of school in a pandemic, keeping students and staff safe and every surface sanitized is at the top of the priority list. At the heart of it, we're trying to keep our students and our staff as safe as we can and make the school year look as normal as we can given the circumstances. Katrina Falk is the Director of Transportation and Communications for the Shelby Eastern School Corporation. She says the school district has spent much of the summer getting the necessary supplies to reopen schools. That includes purchasing cleaning supplies that are strong enough to kill germs but won't hurt students or damage surfaces, both in the classroom and on buses. All the products that we are using are EPA approved products and they are also in alignment with the CDC guidelines for working against coronavirus. Most of the products that we're using in our buses are commonly found cleaning products like 409, Lysol, even isopropyl alcohol. Falk says they will not be using bleach as it is strong enough to destroy some surfaces. She says when school reopens on August 5th, one of the biggest challenges will be transportation, where social distancing is a challenge. She says all of the district school buses will be cleaned multiple times a day. After the morning routes, the buses will be sanitized immediately following when the students are dismissed. And then in the afternoons, they'll be sanitized again after the end of the bus routes. The district is taking its cues from state and county health officials with the understanding that plans can change at any time as the pandemic continues. But before any bus moves or any school door is open, Falk is asking parents for patience and flexibility. We have a reopening plan that's been approved by the school board, but based upon what's happening in Indiana, what the guidance is from our governor and from the Department of Education, that could change in a moment's notice. So as proactive as you try to be with the situation, you know, even the best laid plans sometimes fall short. In Shelby County, Cameron Ruddle, RTV6. 